you are new to our channel, would you consider subscribing? We would love to have you and couldn't do it without you. Today we are using the MicroChem Lab Manual to perform the Paper Chromatography Lab. The goals of this lab are to gain an understanding of chromatography and to observe the separation of metal ions, the components of ink, etc. This lab, you will need a beaker, 150 milliliters, a small beaker, chromatography paper, a felt tip pen, pipette, reaction plate 96 well. You're also gonna need some copper nitrate, potassium iodide, and bromophenol blue. I am using some extra dark colored felt tip pens, but you can also use food coloring, fruit, or vegetable juice. Tape or a stapler will be okay. A pencil, a ruler or measuring tape that measures centimeters, a Q-tip, and I also found it helpful to have a beaker that measures individual milliliters because you only need three or four for this experiment. Step one, use a pencil to draw a light line one centimeter from the edge of a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter piece of chromatography paper. The pencil lead is insoluble in water and will not interfere with the experiment. Starting one centimeter from the edge, make marks two centimeters apart along the line. Step two, put three drops of copper nitrate and three drops of bromophenol blue into well H1 of the 96 well reaction plate and mix the solution with a mini pipette. Use the mini pipette to put one drop of bromophenol blue mixture on the first mark. Allow this to dry and repeat the procedure four or five times on the same mark. Step three. While the paper is drying, use a black felt tip pen to put a dot about three millimeters in diameter on the second spot. Step four, experiment with other dark water soluble liquids, such as another felt pen, food coloring, beet juice, etc. Use a mini pipette to put drops of these materials on the other marks. For this experiment, I'm just gonna use other felt tip pen colors. Step five, when the paper is dry, roll it into a cylinder and fasten the edges together with staples or a small piece of tape. Step six, put three to four milliliters of distilled water into a 150 milliliter beaker to obtain a depth of about three millimeters. You're going to put the paper cylinder into the beaker with the spots down. Step seven, remove the paper from the beaker when the water has diffused to about five millimeters from the top edge. This may take about 30 minutes, but mine did not take that long. Carefully remove the staples or the tape and lay the paper out to dry on the reaction plate. To help my paper dry a little bit faster, I laid it on a paper towel and blotted the edges. Be careful not to blot where there is color, but you can blot the edges and the top and that'll help it dry a little bit faster. Step eight, when the paper is dry, we will need to develop the bromophenol blue streak because it will be invisible. You will put a few drops of potassium iodide in a small beaker and lightly wet a cotton swab in the solution. Dab this along the bromophenol blue streak and it will turn brown as it develops.
Step nine, measure the average distance that each solute traveled and record this in millimeters in the table provided. After the lab is over, be sure to clean up all your materials and rinse out your pipette. For your reaction plate, when you are rinsing it out, be sure to turn it upside down and swiftly shake out the extra water. When you're all finished, be sure to turn everything upside down on a paper towel to dry. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw and you want to continue to have exclusive footage of travel content, would you consider subscribing to my channel? I appreciate the time that you took to watch this video and I'm thankful to have you a part of my travel community. God bless y'all.